As the coldest, windiest, and emptiest place on Earth, Antarctica has fascinated scientists for hundreds of years. But 99% of Antarctica is covered by ice, making it a difficult region to access and explore. In order to learn more about the creatures that inhabit this Antarctic tundra, scientists have developed a new innovative technology to go where scientists can't. Reporter Lauren Wanko has the story. At a lab in New Brunswick, a team of Rutgers University researchers collects data from Antarctica in real time. And I can easily radio out to them. The information comes from gliders like this one. The underwater robots are part of a project to determine how water properties and surface currents can affect penguin foraging at Palmer Station. Penguins are important down there because they're a major part of the food web. Um, they feed on krill and they're fed upon by other organisms like leopard seals. And in recent years, in recent decades, the deli penguins have actually decreased. Um, in the Palmer region. Rutgers, along with other universities, deployed five gliders around Palmer Station, one of the country's research stations in Antarctica. The gliders move slowly underwater, constantly collecting data like temperature and salinity. They're made to be ballasted, neutrally buoyant in the water. They suck in a little bit of water in the nose, and that actually makes them sink through the water column, collect all its data, and then it pushes that water back out with a pump and then it rises back through the water column. There's a satellite phone and GPS antenna in the tail. When it hits the surface, the glider, which is operated remotely by the New Jersey team, calls into Rutgers with the data, which will ultimately help the team determine the ideal water properties penguins need to thrive in the area. Rutgers and other universities also deploy the gliders along the East Coast, including New Jersey, where the team samples underneath storms. So places you can't take boats, places you can't get data, and, and we get oceanographic data that actually helps us um, improve forecast models, so oceanographic forecast models, which then help atmospheric forecast models. The gliders are only one aspect of the project. In the Rutgers University Coastal Ocean Observation Lab, or Cool Room, research project manager Hugh Rorty monitored surface currents data from radar stationed in Antarctica. Scientists dug through about three feet of snow and ice just to set up a stable foundation for the instrument. The team installed three high-frequency radars. The radar is about the size of a telephone booth with one antenna that transmits and receives the signal from the beach. So it's a remote sensing device and it transmits a radio signal in the uh, between the AM and FM radio band and it's very similar to a, a Doppler radar that a police might use uh, based on the Doppler shift of the return signal you can uh, sense the uh, current in the area. If researchers know the surface currents around Palmer Station, they can predict how concentrated the penguin food will be in the area, and that affects how far they have to go to forage. This high-frequency radar is also called an over-the-horizon technology. With this technology, uh, the signal hugs the surface of the ocean, and so you can go well beyond the horizon to make your measurements. Rutgers has 12 high-frequency radar stations along the Jersey Coast, too, from Sandy Hook down to Cape May. Valuable data that's sent to the U.S. Coast Guard. Rarity says the radar will actually reduce the Coast Guard's search area for a missing person, and that's because it tracks the currents and everything drifting along with them. Uh, working with the Coast Guard, uh, they surmised that we could save uh, 50 additional lives per year using the surface current data. The high frequency radars will remain in Antarctica throughout the year. As for the gliders, they'll be shipped back to the lab in February.